Hi everybody. In this three minute video, I'm going to show you how to code generate C Sharp classes from Excel header rows and a brief introduction of how to use it. I also have this on the website. There's now a how to load, how to load tab and a how to save tab. Well, that might make things a little simpler, but we're going to go ahead and get started. First thing you need to do is select your workbook and I have a workbook here with two worksheets. I've already built this once before, but the first time I did this, I did not include the country column, and there's a certain country I don't want to purchase stocks from. China. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. So the first thing you do is enter your namespace, and then you upload Excel. And then now, thanks to version 2, you can code generate more than one worksheet at a time. It used to be you had to do this one at a time, and it was kind of a pain if you had to do a bunch. So now you can do it all at once. I'm going to download the code generated zip file. I'm going to save it in my temp folder. And then I'm going to open the folder up and extract all. And then I will come in here and select my two classes that were code generated. Now before I paste, I'm going to show you here, this is the way this was. This is the load method of the NASDAQ class. And you'll notice country is not here. So I'm going to come over here and paste. Yes, yes. And now you'll see country is here. So I'll go ahead and close this. I don't need it anymore. And I'll give you a brief, this is in the main form class. So if you go to, to load, all you have to do is give it a path and then create a worksheet info object, set the sheet name, and I usually usually use load column options of load all columns except excluded, which I don't have any excluded columns, so it's gonna load them all, and then give it a path, and then I'm gonna do another one for the NASDAQ, so it's the exact same path and everything. The only difference is the sheet name, and that is how you load this is how, first you load the entire worksheet right here. That loads all the data in one line of code. And then this loads all of the code generated New York Stock Exchange entries here and all the NASDAQ entries here. And then I've got some code here that saves them. But I just wanted to show you a brief refresher on Blazor Accelerate. I definitely think it's worth the price of free. Let me know what you think. All right, have a great day.